So guys, so welcome back. This is my boy Gerard. I'm Slink. How you not doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So, of course, yeah, yeah, Bello Matter see the trend. And uh, someone was asking the question yesterday. And uh, that is none other than uh, Rino Odula said. This was the question he said. So, what's the difference between Yahaya Bello and Osh Poppy? What's the difference between Yahaya Bello and Osh Poppy? Firstly, you know, Rino no day Nigeria. Most of all those journalists made a type for Twitter, they know day Nigeria. So I will, I will be systematic about this. What is the difference between Yaya Bello and Osh Poppy? And someone replied and Gina Shabu said, Osh Poppy looted from Oyibo people. Yala Yaya Bello looted from Nigeria. So the difference is that for me, I think if you loot from Nigeria, there is a high percent chances of you to walk freely. But if you loot for uh, Oyibo, massively loot for Oyibo, huh, there is a much more high percent of you to be arrested and sent to jail in USA. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, uh, of course, you know exactly what is happening. Yaya Bello was accused after uh, Yaya, Yaya Bello was accused that he paid school fees for his children. Paid for the present school fees and in advance. That means he paid for this year, next year, next two years, the next three years, next four years, next five years. Advance for to the for the next years until when they finish. Now yeah, yeah, Bill will pay school fees for a children for American International uh, School in Abuja. However, there are proof to read to. There are proof of document, and EFCC has written that school to reform, and they have agreed to reform seven hundred and twenty thousand US dollars from. Eight hundred and seventy thousand US dollars are allegedly that Yaya Yaya Bello withdrew from State House account to pay the school fees. So that is the whole story. Now, just one part with that too. There is still another eighty point something billion naira fraud case against them. But you know, in this country. People keep shouting, Nigeria no get money. Nigeria don't no get money. Nigeria no get money. Nigeria no get money. But then, horse, eh? Ordinary Nigerians who do not understand, say Nigeria no get money. Keep wondering, how this money made they loot? Where did they come from? Did you know, guys, eh? If, for instance, just think about it, no politician has ever looted Nigeria from. Right from the time of uh, independence, Nigeria eh, will have been way more better than any country in this world. Just think about it. The looting and looting and looting and looting of many years, and yet Nigeria still succeed. Nigeria is still sustaining up to this time. Hey, if that alone eh, will not make you wonder which kind of human beings they live in Nigeria, then you don't know what you are doing. That alone will make me wonder, how, how can they loot a country, loot a country so much, so much to the point that I do not think there's any country in this world that their politicians have looted their country like Nigeria. Honestly, I do not think. The billions of US dollars upon billions of US dollars upon billions of US dollars. If possible, they may have looted Nigeria close to more than a trillion dollars. No, yes, close to a trillion dollars. Yeah, if you think about it. Since independent, they may have looted Nigeria close to a trillion dollars. But yet, we are still here. How? How come? How come? And yet, the next person will come and continue the looting.
Then we will shout, hey, this one don't do too. That one will come out. The next person will come, will continue. So they will come become the normal thing. A normal thing, a people who come on Nigeria can never believe that a fellow Nigeria, when given the opportunity, will not look. Nigeria do not even believe in sincerity again. <laughs> With the way they have already, they have looted us to the point that an educated man, eh? With conscience, we argue with you that there is no Nigeria that will be given such opportunity that will not look. In fact, we are so comfortable to the point that eh, we even want the leaders to loot, but may they not to loot. Yes, so people will say, ah, the leader may be the pray for that the one may will chop, but make it not to chop, may to may see do for that person like. I, I don't understand. It's not our fault. To me, I do say that sometimes. It's not our fault. Because of the way we have been looted. So, the only people we pray for now is that I beg. Give us leaders, sincere leaders. Our own sincere leaders are leaders that we eat small. Our own sincere leaders are not leaders that we not eat at all. We are begging for sincere leaders that we eat small, then do big for for Nigeria because there is no Nigeria here. Is there any Nigeria here that believe that a leader will not loot in Nigeria? Is there any Nigeria that believe? There's no Nigeria that believe that a leader able to be safe. At least it's either the person will loot directly or indirectly. It's not our fault. I won't blame anybody for not having confidence that there are people in this Nigeria where give it the opportunity that they will not lose. Where professors are used to rig elections. <laughs> where our fathers are used to rig elections. Those people that were teaching us how to be patient and loyal, how to be sincere, are the ones used to lose funds. People are teaching not in school, even the lecturers. They are the ones used to rig elections. People are teaching us A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Teaching us board mass. Teaching us humanitarian things. They are the ones looting. They are the ones that are corrupt. So tell me how a Nigerian can believe that there is one uncorrupt leader. Well, that being said, let's move back. Let's talk about Mubad. Mubar father has taken matter into his own hands. You know what this guy did? <laughs> when court said that Wumbi should do a DNA test, Wumbi made a post. Wumbi say she never see any court order that instructed her to do a DNA test. And Wumbi said she needed a court order to instruct her to do a DNA test. You know what this mobile father did? <laughs> mobile father decided uh, to take himself to Wombi's house and plaster the court order on Wombi's gate. <laughs> okay, since you say you know see court order, Abba, make I send you one copy now. Plaster Abba, you should have plastered it now. You should have we build it. There's we build. There's a uh, 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 You should have how? What is it called? I uh, forgot. Uh, Inbox or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he should have sent it for over here. We say you send a bike. To, uh, we build. We build it to Wumbi. Through DHL, all those uh, normal services in Nigeria, so that won't be with sign that he received it. He should have done that, or maybe he maybe he has done that and won't be refused to acknowledge it that he, she has received it. You know, maybe. So he decided to go there and plaster it on their wall. What is this whole quarrel about the about, about, uh, Mubad? The Mubad might tire me. Let me make that clear. Extremely, I'm tired of it already. But all the same, eh, they shouldn't make him more tired. 
They say Muba up to Sidonko, but they need to do translation. <laughs> that will take another one month there about maybe 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 but we are still waiting for it though so that's the latest from uh Mubad. and the uh, chess master tunde who recently broke uh the guinness world record for playing chess continuously for 55 hours for more than 55 hours or uh, in uh, new york city times square well he did that well Guess what yesterday? Someone decided to surprise him. Someone bought a house for his parents. According to Tunde, Tunde said, Someone gifted my parents a new house today. It's the single greatest thing anyone will ever do for me in this lifetime. Thank you. My mother worked as a cleaner in the same school I attended, so I could get an education, while my dad worked as a downfall driver, bus conductor, so we could feed and survive. My greatest joy in life is to be able to give them both the life they truly deserve. Bah! Damn! Damn! His mother was working in the school that he was schooling just to pay school fees. There are people who have such arrangements. They will beg the school. Maybe they, they live around that community. They will beg the school. Please, I don't have money to, for school fees. I will be working for you. The money that you will be paying me, please, just take it as, 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 as the payment for the school fees. I've seen people with such arrangement. Meanwhile, the father was a downfall driver. So you be downfall driver, so I am a downfall driver. Was a downfall driver, and a bus conductor was providing for the food and every other every other surviving means. Somebody just dashed his parents' a house. Ah. No wonder he did that. Uh, he said he did it for. For. He dedicated that achievement to the Africa kids without access to education. Well, may God bless that person that uh, bought the house. You know, easy. One of what those things uh, is to be able to see your parents through stuff, you know. Blessing, blessing, blessing for being a blessing to his family.